Hey everybody and welcome to a very special unboxing and review, one I'm very excited for. Today we have our very first Limited Run Games Nintendo Switch Collector's Edition. This is for, I believe, Flint Hook and Mercenary Kings. This would be the uh, number two and number three games. I, of course, loved Thimbleweed Park and playing that physically was just such a joy and I really regret missing out on the Collector's Edition. But up past that, I have managed to get my hands or at least get my orders in for every single collector, collector edition they've done on the Switch games thus far, except for one. I think it was like game 14. I'm gonna have to go to eBay for that one. But I'm excited to get in here because they had a lot of production delays getting these collector's editions out. <coughs> the game has been out for a little while, but apparently Nintendo's like, oh, you need to put Switch branding on the boxes and all that kind of stuff, so they did. I have opened this. I haven't opened, I haven't taken anything out of the box. I just wanted to see if that was a problem. It's not. It's well protected. And now I'm just excited to see it and get in here and think, because I don't even remember what all is supposed to be in this collector's edition. Pretty sure some cool steel books, reversible covers, all that kind of stuff. But there's one way to find out. Let's get in here and see what we think. I'll put a link to Limited Run Games in the description below if you want to check out any of their stuff. As of the time of the filming this, we have a version of Layers of Fear available on the Switch, so you can check that out. So we do have some nice bubble wrap in here because they do offer a premium packaging option, but they don't offer it at checkout. I'm always afraid if I go back and add that to cart, I'm gonna miss out on the collector's edition because a lot of these things sell out incredibly quick. Some take a while, some sell forever. You can still get the collector's edition at Golf Story right now, and it's been days, like a week since that came out. So the bubble wrap is just kind of loosely wrapped around, and we definitely have some cool stuff going on here. And uh, we'll be taking a look at all of that. And then we'll, um, okay, so sorry about that. But um, we're gonna take a look at everything here, and hopefully it's gonna be all really cool. I'll just leave that in the background for right now. So we got our limited run tickets. I don't know if I was supposed to show you those numbers or not, whoops. Um, Loyalty rewards, so guess I need to go blur those out because I will use those, or I guess I can go put them in before I put this video out. We'll see what happens. So that's pretty cool. I get two tickets because I guess I got two games. That's nice. There's nothing on the back. Well, I guess there is something on the back of those for those of you that care. And we do have some limited run game cards, one for each uh, thing. I still don't understand what the numbers are. That's 184. I guess that's the number of the card as there are different ones. So this one looks to be from maybe Mercenary Kings. Yep, I believe. I do not, I'm not familiar with these games, just so you know, but I'm gonna get familiar because they seem to have good taste in the games they pick. So I'm real excited to try some of these things. I mean, if it's even half as good as Thimbleweed Park, I'm gonna be very, very excited. So now we got this card here. I guess it's just kind of a collector card, just saying, hey, here's what you got. Just run off the Mercenary King side of things. From Living to Run Games, we want to sincerely apologize, aha, for the wait on your tribute treasure box. Your support is always appreciated. We're so happy to finally get this wonderful bundle in your hands. Me too. Happy murking or happy grappling, your choice. I am very much looking forward to this. All right, so we have the kind of outside card. I think it's just kind of got the little gluey thing on there. That is kind of a bummer. I do hope they actually just print this on there in the front or not at all because, you know, I mean, the J card's like, what do you really do with these? They don't stick once you take the plastic off, so that's kind of a bummer. And uh, you got a little bit of information there on the side, a little bit of information on the side. Nothing going on on the bottom or the top except that Switch logo. And then you got your basic game information here that they are one player games. And then this one is a one to four, of course. And I think that's gonna be pretty fun. All right, but now we're gonna get into the real fun part and we're gonna get this puppy opened. And we're gonna put the sticky stuff off to the side. So oh, I shouldn't do that because Mary likes, uh, we have a friend that we do the bubble wrap for. What am I doing? Trying to get, get rid of that, there we go. <laughs> All right, I guess I wanna pull this part off too. I'm trying to be very careful with it, just so I can keep it in good shape. I don't know why I'm even getting rid of this from the plastic. All right, we'll move that to the side. And then you just get some nice flint hook artwork on the back of the box, that's really cool. Right, let's see if I have enough nails to do this because I do not have my knife on me because I'm an idiot. I don't, but I can grab some scissors just off to the side. See, I was just so excited to open this that I was un I was not even prepared to shoot this video, but I'm like, I gotta shoot this video because I wanna open this. <laughs> Sorry, Mary, we're gonna be like 20 minutes late to dinner, but she knows it's worth it. All right, so we got the plastic off. Oh boy. So I guess we're gonna carefully try to get that. Oh good, that opened real easy. And you can see it's like that. Oh, we got two CDs. I do believe these will be soundtracks, which is very cool. Yes. So we have our Mercenary King soundtrack. You can see all around it if you'd like. You got your track listings here. Again, I don't really know anything about these, so can't really tell you too much about the games, but I'll play them eventually. 
And you got the soundtrack to Flint Hook. This is one of my favorite things about getting these. And again, one of the things I really regret missing, Thimbleweed Park, although I'm pretty sure I can just go get a download soundtrack if I want, but I would have loved to have had the collector's edition. I don't do vinyl, but they do do vinyl releases on a lot of these as well. Well, we'll open those. Let's go ahead and open these up. I do really wish I had my knife. Ow, ooh, ah, ooh. I'm burning my, oh, here we go. Burning my uh, fingers, doing like the, you know, getting all that friction heat going. What am I doing with the plastic? I gotta get rid of the plastic. <laughs> all right, cool, cool, cool. So let's open this up. Here's the flint hook on the inside. There's nothing actually in here worth actually opening for other than the uh, CD art. But we might as well open up the Mercenary Kings one as well. Do a real thorough unboxing here. Again, all the artwork and everything is looking really, really good. So I'm excited about that. I do love my collector's editions. So there's that, there's that. I'm sure a lot of you are gonna end up asking me what I think about the supposed new version of the Switch coming soon. It's too early for me to tell. I don't have an opinion yet. So I'm not even sure how true those rumors are. I haven't really looked into it. We got a little bit of styrofoam. I might as well just take out because I'm just gonna keep the box as a collectible. And I'll keep everything else separate. We got some more styrofoam. As you can see, there's some neat stuff down in here. So we'll get to the poster. Mm, I'm excited. Two posters. Right, one for each game. The posters, they're not as awesome to me, but I'm still happy to have them. Good, and there will be a way I can show you the whole poster pretty much. Maybe not in one swoop, but you can kind of see. <laughs> Oops, don't have, quite have it all the way. So this is actually pretty cool. I really like the art going on here. The art style is really nice. And I like that it has the Tribute Treasure Box logo kind of thing going on in the bottom there. I think that's a nice little touch. Oh, there is something on the back. Okay, hold on. So we have our, ah, hold on. I have to just do this off screen because I'm going to bend it up otherwise. All right, so then we have an alternate version. This is gonna be a harder one to show, show off just because of the angle it's at. Alternate art, reversible posters, that's really cool. Especially if you are into it, nice. So then I'm guessing, of course, this other one will be for Flint Hook. I'm not really sure which game I should start with, so feel free in the comments to tell me which one you think would be the better game for me to start with of the two. I'm leaning towards Flint Hook, but we can, we'll see. All right, let me continue on fluffering. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to, I'm better at folding than this. I'm just trying to be real gentle and not screw this up. You know, I will keep this in good shape, so I'll just put these back in the collector's box. And good, this one's actually vertical so I can show it off rather easily. And again, I like kind of this art style too, so I think this could be a lot of fun. I like the idea of grapple hooking around on a bunch of stuff as well. Sweet, so far so great. Okay, so now we have one of the games. We're getting there, there's still stuff to go into. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it so you don't have to worry about seeing the reflection from all the plastic. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> ah, it's glued. I hate that. Don't do that. Limited run. Don't do that. Or maybe it's not glued. Maybe it's just, no, it's kind of glued on the edge of the bottom spine. I don't know. I guess it all came off pretty good. Maybe it's not glued. It might have just been some friction. Good. All right. Let's take a quick look around this box, the reloaded edition. And one of the really great things about the limited run games is no DLC, no downloads. This game will always work if you have a working Switch because all the stuff that it would have had would already be included. And of course you do get reversible covers, which is another fantastic thing about these. And of course you have your little Switch card right there. So let's take a quick little look through the instruction manual. This is a thick manual too, so this may take a minute. Or it's a whole comic book, I guess. Nice. And if I'm rushing through or blurring a little bit of it, well, you should have got your own. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just go to Limited Run, not, Limited Run Games and just be checking like every Friday, basically. <laughs> 10 p.m. And, or 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. So this is kind of fun, though, that we get a nice little comic book. And I guess maybe there'll be some manual in the back. Because I do like when you actually get instructions. I mean, a lot of games don't need them. They do the tutorials kind of in-game, which is nice, but... It's just fun to see a little controller layout or something. Don't think we're gonna get that. 
Yeah, interesting. All right, so it's just a collectible comic book, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. It fits in the case very, very nicely. Yep, oh my God. User error. Aha! Oh, jeez. That's cool. We're shooting Steven Seagal right in his face. I want that. What is that? I want that. My backpack's full. Ah, what? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, okay, this is fun. No, no reloading. Well, poop. All right, let's try this again now that I know. Oh, well, you don't get your time back. Right, then I'm gonna drop. Oh, those guys take a couple of shots. All right, all right. Ah! ah. Really? All right, this is pretty fun. I need that. Oh, I can't shoot crooked. I can only shoot straight angles. Whew. All right, music's pretty good. Okay, I don't know why you can't shoot at angles at least. That's pretty lame. Ah, come on now. And uh, I don't think I can play till this time runs out. It's gonna make this video like an hour long. All right, next time I die, I'm gonna call it. Uh, that should be enough for us to at least get a taste of the game. And I got things to do, like shut up and get better. <laughs> All right. Oh, there we go. Woo! I'm going up here. No, I'm not. Why must you always reload right when I'm gonna die? Oh, jeez, really? Oh. Oh. That's not cool. Oh, what? What? One more time. Because <laughs> it is kind of addicting and fun. Oh, you can shoot these two? Nope. Really? Really? Ugh. Nope, not this time. Really? I hate you. No, why am I, why am I not rolling? Why am I not rolling? Oh. So there is Mercenary Kings. Now let's get in here and let's take a look at Flint Hook. And then we got one more really awesome thing. So let me get the plastic off of here. Oh, I'm so excited these things are finally starting to ship. So I should have a bunch more of these coming in over time, because I think we're up to game 15 or 16. I think Layers of Fear might be 16 right now, Switch games. And unlike super rare games, Nintendo, what I, I think is what I heard, 
uh, for whatever reason, won't let them put numbers on the boxes, which I think is silly. I would love for these to be like LRG number three or number two or whatever. But, you know, can't get everything we want, I guess. So again, the art on this, I really like that 16-bitty kind of style they're giving the edges of him, too. So I think that's really cool. Become the galaxy's greatest pirate. I already am. Oh, you guys aren't supposed to know that. Oh, well, they do have the numbers back here. Oh, okay. Well, I'm full of crap. Then why can't we put them on the spines? Or maybe that's what Nintendo won't let happen, because I would love for those numbers to be on the spines. Yeah, it's over there, too. Anyways, that's better than nothing. I'll take it. All right, inside the box, we have another booklet. We'll take a look at that. Ooh, almost bent a corner. Um, I'm... Okay, yeah, the art is different. I was like, I'm not sure I see much difference in the art. And there is your Switch cart. Very, very cool. Here is the booklet. We'll try to skim through this one really quickly. Oh, so this has like, oh, that's awesome. We're gonna get character sketches and all that kind of stuff. I like that. I mean, the comic book's kind of a neat idea, but I'd almost rather have something like this, like the designs and history of how this game was made and put together. I find that a little bit more fascinating than a comic book. Though the comic's still pretty cool. So more and more, Flint Hook seems like the one I'm really excited to play first. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's show off a little Flint Hook. I have been playing this a little bit. It's very fun, but I'm finding it a wee bit difficult to get very far. But uh, we're going after this one. I've already got some perks set up, so I'm good with what I've got for now. Let's go to a different ship. I've been having trouble with some of those others, so don't quite get the point completely of the game yet in terms of, I guess there is a boss, but I've never gotten to the end boss on any level. But let's try this. The, game, the play mechanics are really fun. Mm. And uh, every time it's, it's different wherever you go. Oh, didn't see the spikes. Ah, ah. Okay, all right, all right, all right. No, oh, jeez. Oh, God. Whew. All right. <laughs> yeah, I legitimately just did not see the spikes there. You can slow down time, which comes in handy in certain places. It's like completely non-linear in the path you take. Ooh! Okay, I think the way my switch is set up though, it's not getting a good connection to my um, my Joy-Con unless I hold it up, because it was certainly having trouble. Ah, I meant to go back and do things. Oh well, let's play some bot bo fights, some guys. Uh, ah, see? See? I suck. Well, let's play some more. <laughs> I like the graphics. I like the music. It's just taking some getting used to. I just need to keep leveling up so I can have more HP and maybe make it deeper into some of these places. So it is addictive in that sense, and it's definitely like got a leaderboard score system and all that. Um, no thanks. I'm gonna go a different way. <laughs> so I don't have enough to buy it, but this would be where you'd buy some things. Apparently I don't have 80. Oh well, um, so I gotta go somewhere else. Nothing to do there. I think I had one more option. Yeah. All right, all right, I can work with this. Whoops. Oh, crap. Ah. Oh, I did not see the spike up. No, I don't wanna, okay. <laughs> if you've never seen me play games, please know I do not consider, uh, I do not consider myself a gamer. I'm very casual. Also, I have a cold <clears> that's <throat> started to come in today, so that may be affecting my abilities. All right, we got some mofos we can shoot. Oh, buzz saws, damn. All right. 
not so difficult. Oh, spoke too soon. And we get a treasure chest. Oh, but I have to go down to the buzzsaw to get it? Oh, that's not okay. Oh, no, I don't. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we'll do a little bit more of this, and then we'll play some uh, Mercenary Kings, although I probably showed you Mercenary Kings first. <laughs> I love that you can slow down time, which you do need for certain things. We haven't encountered any of the laser rooms yet. <laughs> Squeaky toys. Ah! I do not think I'm going to live much longer. Oh, I got a bomb! It did me no good. What? Oh, oh he shot out spikes on me. Okay. Ah! Oh, these are the shooty kinds. Ah! Got him. Yay, treasure. All the stuff. All right, I'm probably not far from dying, so we'll just keep playing until I die. <laughs> One more room. I gotta feel. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die here. Ah, why am I not shooting? Ooh! Ooh, that was almost bad. See, by the way, you can slow down, you can go between those beams. Here, I'll show you. Ooh, I almost missed out, though. Oh, okay, and there you go. So there's some flint hook. It's really fun. You can get it on the uh, digital store. Obviously, if you want the physical, you have to go to eBay or whatever. But uh, pretty good. And I got a prize. Let's see what the prize is, and then we'll move on. Uh, I have to go through the play thing, I think. Yeah, here we go. And then, boom, let's open that up. So uh, you get some extra kick by adding. Plus, ten, I have a bunch of those. But I mean, it's kind of neat. You can load those perks in and all that, so. Cool beans. But now, we're gonna get the piece de resistance. I'm sure I didn't quite say that right. Last thing in the box. Ooh, is the reversible, well, I guess you would call it reversible, steelbook case. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. It's shiny. So shiny, the art on it is stellar. Get both game names on the side there. Oh, and it holds both games. Yes. I can't decide if I want to have it in two cases or put it in the steel book. Now the steel book is definitely one of the really cool benefits of the collector editions. Almost every game I'm pretty sure is coming with a steel book of some sort. And that is awesome. This is an awesome collector package. Like seriously. <laughs> now granted, they're usually just one game and the, but they do come with extra stuff in the future. So that's pretty cool. And I'm pretty darn excited to have all of this. And uh, I'm just glad it finally came because it has been a while. So there you guys go. That is my unboxing of the tre Treasure Tribute Box or the Tribute Treasure Box, the collector's edition version of Switch Games number two and three from Limited Run Games, Mercenary Kings, Flint Hook, and I'm terribly excited to have it. Hopefully you guys dug this video. Definitely let me know. And of course, I will be opening all these collector's editions as I receive them. And let me know what your favorite game is. And have you played Thimbleweed Park? If not, why not? I want to go play it again. All right, geek out with me in the comments. Let me hear what you have to say. Other than that, though, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And I think this is like limited to 3,000. That's a good point. I don't see um, numbered, so they're not really numbered, I guess, but whatever. Maybe they'll do that in the future. Let me know. Geek out with me in the comments, blah, 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 blah. Click the thumbs up, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to get out of here because i got some games to play and open up some more stuff. I'll see you all later.